Thanks, Andrew. It's uh, my uh, great pleasure to welcome you here uh, and thank all of you who have traveled and particularly uh, come from far off places. Uh, as Andrew said, we're going to try and minimize the amount of pontificating and propaganda at the conference. Uh, but in the context of thanking everyone here, I, I thought it worth uh, reflecting for a few minutes uh, on what we're actually working together on. About uh, three years ago now, I think it was uh, right about this time of the year in 2011, we introduced Cloud Foundry as a concept and as a project and as a journey to the industry. And this was motivated by a belief by a bunch of us who reflected that most of the important shifts in technology in recent years have had an open alternative. Uh, typically, there's been a proprietary system, or proprietary systems plural, and at least one viable, successful open alternative. Uh, those of you who know me uh, know that I spent a uh, good 15 years of my life uh, laboring to promote Windows as an alternative uh, to Unix and Linux, and uh, before that, there were people from a company called Digital Equipment, and if you recognize the name, you're dating yourself. Uh, but they labored uh, hard to present uh, VMS as an operative, uh, alternative to, Linux, uh, to Unix before that. And then uh, we've seen it play out in other spaces as well. We've got the example of iOS and Android playing out uh, in the marketplace today in the mobile space. The other big shift that's happened is, is that uh, open source has become an extraordinary effective way for people to come together and build a standard platform or standard environment that other people can build upon. And it was a conviction of myself and, and, and others that we ought to provide a meaningful open alternative to the cloud. And it had to be a pragmatic one. It had to recognize that uh, a lot of the pioneering in the cloud had already been done by people like Amazon and others. And we needed an alternative that was actually able to encompass them as well. <laughs> All right. So we conceived of this idea of trying to build an ecosystem where the virtuous cycle of the development community developing applications, people developing cloud-based services, and cloud service providers could all cooperate and try and make the pie bigger for everyone. <laughs> now, successful uh, platforms in general and successful open platforms in particular have to have certain foundations. Uh, first of all, the technology has to be good. <laughs> Uh, you can't build on an insecure technical foundation. And secondly, particularly when you're working on things that are going to be truly foundational, you have to pay attention to quality. <laughs> uh, and we try to uh, take these lessons to heart, uh, particularly over the last 18 months, uh, and really make sure that we're building on a secure foundation here. And this is something very important that I would like all of us, and I think all of us need to keep in mind that uh, we never shortchange these two particular attributes. In addition to that, there's the way that we work together. Uh, so how do we build an environment where many people can meaningfully participate and contribute? Now, many uh, platforms like to say that the correct way to build the platform is to have a, a benign dictator, have someone basically make sure that the architectural integrity is preserved, and that is important. But you can, at the end of the day, a well-functioning open ecosystem that draws upon the resources and wisdom and contribution of many is an incredibly powerful force. I believe ultimately more powerful than any proprietary system. So we need to get the balance right between the technical attributes on the one hand and the attributes of the community on the other how we participate, how we contribute, uh, how we structure governance. Uh, and I would like to actually to recognize uh, the contributions of others who have helped us grow significantly, not only in the technical side, but in the community side as well. And I'll come to that in just a second. But as I said, I've learned over the years that if you can get a well-functioning open ecosystem to really be built on a secure foundation and have 
the means for many to participate and benefit, then you can do something incredibly powerful. And I would just like to remind us that if we're successful on this journey, uh, we will have collectively done something really important for the industry. We will have provided one of the foundations that can be truly built upon. And why that's kind of interesting for me is, is, is that a lot of people talk about the cloud in terms of where, as though the most important thing about the cloud is where the computing happens. Does it happen on-premise, off-premise? Does it happen in vendor B's data center or not? And while that is an important attribute, and while we think that Cloud Foundry can go a long way to basically providing abstraction and portability, it is ultimately the what and the how that is really interesting. And if we can get these things right, we as an industry can really start to focus on a generation of applications that are going to be truly transformative. We've seen the early pioneers already do this in terms of what the big consumer and the giants have done in building things that are fundamentally post-paper. Uh, there is no paper equivalent of Google or Facebook, et cetera, but we're just on the beginnings of that journey. I believe that building applications that can meaningfully capture people and now things, machines, in the act of doing things, provide them feedback in context and in real enough time to actually influence its outcomes is the defining application paradigm of the next 10 to 20 years. And those applications cannot be done on existing IT structures. They have to be done in a different way. So if we're successful, we can not only build a foundation that solves the where question, but we can really unlock a lot of these how and what questions. And not only do something that we'll be technically proud of, but do it in a way that if we're all successful and we all participate, in the fruits of this journey, people won't begrudge it to us because they'll say each of us, in our own way, actually gave back more than we took out of the system. Uh, so that's why I'm particularly passionate uh, and uh, really want us to keep that in the back of our minds as we come together as a community and do something that's really important for the world. Now, very quickly, uh, I want to recognize uh, in the governance space, the people who have come together to provide a body that will become the custodian over the long term uh, for the Cloud Foundry intellectual property. <laughs> uh, we have a, whereas you know, we're in the process of putting together a foundation. Leo will come up and talk about that. Uh, these are our platinum level members. Uh, we have a set of gold level members and a set of silver level members. Uh, and this has been something that we've been working on for nine to 12 months now. And I want to recognize our platinum level sponsors and particularly recognize IBM as having moved us significantly forward uh, down this direction. So thank to all of you who've really helped us mature in this space. <laughs> now at this conference, uh, you're gonna hear about uh, four things. Uh, you're gonna hear about how we're moving the technology forward. You're gonna hear amongst other things about how we're going to incorporate uh, new container support, how we're going to move forward architecturally around this concept of uh, microservices. And that's only two of a long list of things we're going to talk about as we turn Cloud Foundry really into that technical foundation, not only for today's applications, but for tomorrow's applications. Contributing to that will be a whole bunch of people who will be talking about the services they're building that plug into Cloud Foundry. And you'll see a bunch of providers uh, talking about the work that they're going to do to provide Cloud Foundry instantiations uh, in their clouds that can help uh, complete the cycle. I'd also like to uh, point out that uh, uh, compared to our previous conference a year ago, we really have meaningful support now and participation from a variety of enterprises who see the value of this virtuous cycle and are not only figuring out how they can benefit from it, but how they can contribute to the cycle as well. So I'd like to thank and uh, recognize those enterprises who are participating in the conference. So with that, I'm gonna just say thank you uh, and uh, have a great conference and hand it back to Andrew. <laughs>